It's just funny for the connect. Hi, I'm Rachel Clava, and this is Marketers I Love. And today I'm with Corey Hind. He's from Good Oil Marketing in Tauranga. Hi, Corey. Hi, Rach. Nice to be talking to you in person. It's good to be talking to you too. And it's so weird doing these on Zoom because I'm going to have to try and make sure I look at the camera. That's yeah. a little tip I got. Then looking at your picture, which is on the left, which is such yeah. a weird feeling. Um, yeah. So, um, Corey, I've been watching you on LinkedIn and not in a weird way, um, but I really like the in-depth blogs that you do helping small business owners get into um marketing particularly um and and the thing i like i was saying to you before in our pre pre-podcast chat um that i i really see you as the google my business guy that you mm -hmm. have a real passion for the power of google my business mm -hmm. and helping local marketers um and and i thought we could probably start with that like yeah, do you wanna yeah tell me totally. why you're so passionate about google my business yeah, good question. I think, you know, as as you go through the process of marketing and talking to lots of business owners, and we, we're really passionate about small business because that's the heart and soul of the country and there's yeah. so many out there who need help. And typically you get to that point where they're like, well, I just need to get the phone ringing without spending too much money. And I guess for us, Google My Business has been such a standout over the last probably 18 months with people. Um, we've kind of carved a little niche in that area uh, because people can get big results from it without spending too much money compared to say um, Google ads or other things where they mm -hmm. kind of struggle to see the results. So we've, we've just found it works really well. Um, it's so cool that people can have that app on their phone and get so much mm -hmm. done. Um, and it's just, it's easy to use. So we, we really like it. So I just, just interesting with this because we obviously, we use it quite a lot ourselves. And what I quite mm -hmm. like is that um, I, I have a phrase for Mark um, when I'm talking to clients about marketing, which is that, you just need to be a little bit less shit than your competitors. Like that's <laughs> all you have to do. Like you don't have to be the best marketer in the world. You just need to yeah. be a little bit less shit than everyone else. Yeah. And when you come to being a marketer for a marketing agency, that's yeah. a bit stink because we're all marketers. So, yeah. you know, but one of the things that I find with um, Google My Business is it's something that a lot of marketers aren't using yet either. So yeah, it is an true. area that for us, we've been able to be a little bit less shit in and it's yeah. really helped us. Um, yeah. 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 I guess I, I see your point. Like we, we as an agency have got lots of reviews on Google My Business because we ask for them. We actively mm -hmm. seek them out, which is something we get our clients to do as well. You know, take it all the crap at the bottom of your signature block, just have your Google review link, for example. Um, so we've got lots of reviews, but I can honestly say we, we haven't got any clients ourselves from Google My Business. Our, our wheelhouse really is Facebook groups and LinkedIn. That's where, our, that's where we kind of exist and live. Um, so we Do you think it might be driving people to your uh, website. It, there is a little bit of that. Yep. Yeah. Um, but we, as a group of, of marketers for, for our business, we actively work mostly in the, our Facebook group. We've got a big free group. It works really well for us. Starting to use LinkedIn a little bit more after last year's growth of, of LinkedIn. So we're trying to go where the eyeballs are and that's what we do for our clients, I guess. But mm -hmm. for small local businesses, um, Google My Business is just rocking. Um, for those businesses where you just go, right, I need a mechanic, blah, 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 blah. Um, but for marketers, you know, uh, I think it's going to get better for lead generation for marketing agencies themselves. Um, I guess most agencies focus on their SEO, their blog, um, all the funky, sexy things, um, because I don't know how many people grab their phone or laptop and look up marketing agency. They kind of find someone, start following them, and then they go, oh, right, I could do with some help on that. And then they start to engage with somebody. Yeah, we, for us, I mean, like I, we were talking before about, you know, stages of agencies and, and yep. talking about we've, we've got a, we've now got an office and um, we, I still, I'm working from home today, um, but yep. you're working from home. Um, yep. I think for us, when we put a, because we've got a physical address for our agency, yep. when we started doing more Google My Business, we started getting more walk-ins, which I both love right. and hate because, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. you know, I'm not, um, I don't necessarily plan to have those um, walk-ins yeah. coming in. So it yeah. definitely is making a difference. And we definitely have had clients who have found us just from the SEO aspects of using yep. Google My Business. It helps find, you know, marketing yeah. the audio where they find us. Um, yeah. And that's what it does for local businesses, right? Is that what you're saying? Totally, yeah. Saying? Yeah, because we, we generally, a client will say, oh, I just need to get more phone calls. I need to be yeah. found on Google or whatever. And we'll kind of explain how Google works. And we go, look, here's Google Ads up the top. Here's the Google My yeah. Business in the middle. And here's the organic search down below that, which is the old Google. So people go, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I get that. I understand that. 
and we'll test it with them live and we'll say, hey, look, look up, you know, such and such a business nearby and where do your eyes go to? They go to Google My Business. So it's, it's kind of like a, an alternative game of SEO as well because getting into that three pack on Google My Business, look, for some businesses, that can be an absolute game changer. You know, going from page two of Google to visibility straight away on someone's phone when they press call uh, for a lot of local businesses, that can absolutely change the game for them. So for but some... Do you think it is just local ben businesses that benefit, like marketing to local? Do you think it's got a national benefit as well? Bit of both. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it depends on the business. And I, I know we all hate that answer, it depends, but it really depends on the niche. So I was looking at, um, I've got another business in Hamilton and we we're talk, talking to a security business yesterday mm -hmm. and we looked at um, security uh, providers in Hamilton. And, you know, Google My Business is, is a great opportunity there because most of them have pretty bad listings with the yeah. reviews. So, you get that whole thing of you just need to be a little bit less shit. Absolutely. So yeah. I said to these guys, I said, look at how bad your competitors are. You just need to probably get five yeah. to ten this good wins. This is easy, right? Yeah. Win. So, it, like, for me, I'm, I'm a bit of a simpleton. I go, right, what's the easiest way to get the result you're mm. after? And we know from experience and expensive um, games that SEO can be a very expensive but rewarding but slow game. Mm. But Google My Business can actually leapfrog all of that. Um, we've had people appear in the three pack within 15 minutes. You know, like that, that's not usual. Normally it takes two to three months. But mm. for a local business, they just want to grow. And if Google My Business is doing that, and it'll change next year for sure. And I can see that the, the uh, pay to play game is definitely on the agenda big time. Um, so things will change. And yeah, it's interesting you say that because um, when you, when you um, search for marketing agencies, Ottawa, there is now coming up in that three pack, above the three pack, there's an ad. Yes, and it's, it's never a local marketing agency. So they're yeah. starting to put them in there. Um, yeah. And so yeah. that is definitely happening. And I've been talking about it with clients. Do you yeah. think like so by so with Google My Business, so we might be teaching different we teach might be teaching different ways. So because we yeah. use a scheduler and I schedule my Google My Business posts yeah. into Google My Business. I have them like going on a regular basis. I've got them all yeah. done for the last next year. Yeah. Um and so super organized this year. Wow, um, that's but, that's organized. <laughs> yeah, I well the wheels fell off last year. I got so busy at the end of the quarter, yeah. I just I just stopped and, and things were happening like posts yeah. that I'd half done were appearing on Facebook pages. <laughs> yeah. like, that happen again. But um, what are you, are you recommending that people do posts onto the Google My Business page? Totally. Yeah. So yeah. The, 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 probably the um, three main things we recommend people do. Um, look, we ourselves will post regularly, but we're more reactive. So we will look at yeah. um, what's happening, um, try and leverage off of that and get a post up, which is relevant to what people might be searching for or, you know, like mm. Brian, Brian Dean might pop out a new video and we might talk about that or someone who's well known. Um, for our clients, um, we kind of use a step-by-step -step process. So step one is get their listing right. So make sure yeah. it's got the right information, the right categories, nice images, keywords, etc. So enrich it basically. Uh, step two is we chase down reviews because we, we find mm. that people can um, out-review their competition usually pretty quickly. Yeah, uh, so that's, that's a key thing. Um, and then the posting. So we try and get everybody to get the Google My Business app on their phone. So it pops up with those notifications when there's a review or a question or whatever. But it also lets people post things really quickly to mm. their listing. So if they're a local trades business, um, mechanic, whatever, they can just take a quick video or a photo and upload it straight to Google My Business. Um, and that's part of that notion that I've got of kind of five minute marketing. You've got to be spending at least five minutes every day on your business marketing. And that can be as simple as a photo of something, mm. boom, um, do it from the phone. So yes, absolutely. The, the posting and the reviews and the completion of listing are probably yeah. the three main things. Uh, when we take people on, so I was at a business the other day, they hadn't even claimed their listing, let alone um, enriched it as a good listing. Therefore, they only had one or two reviews and mm. no, no posts at all. So there's way more you can do, but those three things in New Zealand where we're a bit behind uh, can get most people win in pretty quickly. Yeah, and I guess that is that thing too, like if it, like obviously there'll be some fields where people grab this and it becomes easy, but with local mm. businesses, mm. you could have like 
500 hairdressers in New Zealand doing it really, really well, but they're yeah. all in the local locations. So it's yep. not competitive. They're not trying to compete against yep. someone else. So it's easy. And, and industries are really weird. So some industries are really big on Google My Business and some aren't. Yeah. So food and beverage, for example, has always had a lot of reviews coming through on Yelp and now Google yeah. My Business, whereas other industries just don't use it all. So it's kind of industry specific, but then Google My Business, you know, there's been a few changes even in the last month. So we were noticing a few weeks ago that you can now filter, uh, if you're looking for a certain business, you can now filter by reviews, um, opening hours, mm. distance as well. So it's been That's a, few little, really interesting. a few little buttons have popped up the top, which weren't there three or four weeks ago. And what that says to us as a bunch of Google My Business geeks is that um, Google is still really heavily invested in developing that product because they know that people are shying away from Google ads and the eyeballs are going straight down to Google My Business. Mm -hmm. So they're putting a lot of time and money into building it into a better beast. And do you think that having a Google Biz My Business page and active actually helps your off-page SEO generally for your website, like helps your website increase in search as well? Totally, because um, look, at the end of the day, SEO to the average person means how well do I rank on Google? Yeah. Um, and it's a Google product. So look, we know it works both ways. So Google My Business, one of the important ranking factors for Google My Business is what's on your actual website and your website speed um, and your SEO game impacts on Google My Business and vice versa. So when people search for a particular business, um, Google My Business listings are starting to come up and, and it's working both ways and because it's both Google. So in New Zealand, yeah. It's all Google. It's fascinating to me because um, we were talking earlier on the week about um, YouTube. And, yep. um, and you said, are oh, you doing it to build a channel? Well, I've got 35 subscribers. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a YouTube star. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but also, I'm using it to um, actually just, well, I'm using it partly to have fun. To be honest, yep. I'm doing it because I ignored YouTube for ages. Um, yep. I was I found like it was a little bit hard. Um, yep. I've got a 19 year old daughter who works for me who makes beautiful YouTube covers. So my, my channel looks pretty. Cool. Um, and so I just give her the video and she does the cover. Um, and, but one of the things that I have noticed just in the last month, so it's been going for about six months, is yep. that when people start to search for me now or search for identify, it comes up, it'll have to Google my business and then it, yep. has, a couple of, it has a couple of things. And then it has this line of videos yeah. that are also us, which is yep. showing that, that increase of Google search, like the search, yep. the whole holistic thing of Google my business and YouTube yep. with your website is major yeah. and there's no weird backlinking or yeah. stressing about that sort of stuff it's they're just all, actually increasing it they're all google products you know yes. youtube's a google product and it makes perfect sense when you think about what hardware what what does google own mm. um, and and i was talking to a guy yesterday he said oh you know youtube's the second biggest search engine in the world i said of course yes. it is but it's part of google as well you know and yes. google has such a stronghold on search um, you're mad not to invest in all the things. Funny is, say, um, you know, obviously taking over the world with YouTube and having your daughter able to help you, which is great, you know, is she yeah. for hire? Um, you know, I see a lot of people now really starting to look at YouTube as a way to grow their business because, you know, I look at, your, you know, your website's still that central hub of the wheel and YouTube is starting to push traffic to it. LinkedIn's starting to do that. Like if we Google our own name, LinkedIn yeah. only comes up really high. Um, but the search changes all the time. And it's interesting yes. to notice your YouTube videos are popping up, so that, which is great. And, and yeah. it is good fun. And it is interesting. I mean, for me, because uh, the reason we talked about YouTube a few days ago is because you put a link up to a YouTube video on LinkedIn. And I was, lazy. I, was, I was lazy. I was being lazy. Yeah, I was cheeky and I was like, oi, make sure you put it on organically. And it is one of the yeah. costs, you know, you know, we talk about easy wins, which is good mm. my business. And, and I think that's an amazing quick win that you can have as a business owner. Yeah. I think what I'm developing and realizing as a person who wants to model better marketing all the time yeah. is putting um, video organically yeah. in the platforms you're using. It makes such a difference. Yeah. So if I do a video, 
it goes four places. It goes yep. organically um, into Facebook. It goes organically yep. into LinkedIn. Yep. It goes into my YouTube channel. And then yep. often it's also just going as a, like a different separate place for me to log in for um, my EDMs and emails and stuff like that. But yeah. it's going into these different areas. You mm. can't just have one video <laughs> yeah. that you yeah. put somewhere and then share everywhere, unfortunately. Yeah. I think, um, you know, what I was doing the other day was going back through our Facebook lives from last year to find the better ones and put mm. them in some other places uh, because we understand the power of video. But I guess, you know, what, what we're both doing is understanding that marketing is, is a great big engine with a whole bunch of cogs. And you know, every business owner has multiple cogs they've got to look at and go, which cogs mm -hmm. moving the wheel for us at the moment? Where can I put my efforts? And when you're a big business um, that's got, let's let's talk about Coca-Cola, you know, they yeah. sell water and sugar water. So not not amazing products, but they've got a massive marketing engine that drives it. And they, they've got all those moving parts moving, but they've got a hell of a lot of money yeah. and resource behind that. But for small businesses, you know, we're trying to give people you know, what can you do in a short amount of time per day to ensure that your leads are coming in? And um, we, we often talk to customers about what, what are your big two? You know, you want to mm -hmm. focus on your best couple because realistically, yeah, we could focus on seven, but um, small business owners, they often can't even get their main thing. You know, we have customers who can't right even thing. get on their, their yeah. one thing each couple of days. So it's like, wow, what can we do to help you move that one cog at least, otherwise, you know, you, you've got to keep, you've got to keep doing the marketing. It's just part of business. You've got a business and you've got a marketing business for your business. And that's, that's the reality, right? It's really interesting. Um, Cause I, when you were talking about that, I was thinking about um, how quite often people say, oh, why are you not jumping into TikTok and why are you not doing this yeah. as a marketer? The reality is, and you'd be the same, we're working yep. with small businesses yep. who often the business owner is the marketer or they yep. might have an assistant but isn't yep. a marketing person. Yep. And they are struggling with just getting the basics right. Like they're yep. struggling with how do I add a blog to my website? Yeah. Um, how do I remember to post on Facebook? Yeah. Um, more than twice a week or even yeah. more, more than twice a month um you know what yeah. is instagram and why do i need it do i have to yeah. have pinterest why am i on linkedin and that the yeah. questions those are the questions they've got and it, yeah, again, we, it goes back to that you just gotta be a little bit less shit than your competitors yeah. if you're not yeah. nailing the basics don't but, jump ahead i'd even go right back i'd go back a further level and i remember a networking breakfast was that last year or something and this old fella who's a really lovely guy really engaging guy and he introduced himself for a solid five minutes and I still didn't get what he did, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I, I said to my team, I said, holy shit, man, you've got to be able to clarify mm. what you do really, really quickly so people can walk away. I introduced myself and said, we do Google. People are like, great, I get it, next person. Yeah, and that's a great one for you. We do Google, that was, that was the whole message. But mm. back to this guy, he, he waffled on for five minutes about all these things and I, and I said to him afterwards, I said, John, I, I really like you, man. I still don't quite get what you do. So I, I think the real important thing for people is what do you do? Who do you do that for? Start with that. And that's kind of like the first slide of my course that we we're talking about before, which is know exactly what you do. Make it memorable. And that's a starting point, you know, but, and, I, and I'm like you, you know, you start talking about things and uh, the nuances of various platforms and things and you forget that people still I'll come back and go, how do I post on Facebook? You're like, oh, that's right. This is, <laughs> yeah. You know. yeah, or do I need a Facebook page? <laughs> I, I had a bad one the other week. I was talking to a client and I kept saying SEO, SEO, SEO. And he said, what is SEO? And I was like, ah, oh, sorry. I hate it when people do that. Um, and I explained it. But it, it reminds me of when I was a dietitian in my first career. And, you know, the idea was taking complicated science and making it into messages people could understand. So what yeah. do I do with that? So you'd never lose sight of that as a marketer. I, I, oh, absolutely. I was actually marketer. talking about it with a coaching client um, earlier in the week. She's um, working with um, people who've had bacterial hip surgery and she's, cause she had it herself yeah. and she was like, well, you know, what, what do I offer? And it's like the basics, like mm -hmm. they are natural to you now, but the basics going back to basics, like mm -hmm. what is a carb? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, but yeah. it's the same with marketing. And I think yeah. that's one of the things that, um, that people do forget is that you need to get the basics right before you go and do all the sexy stuff. Um, yeah. 
you know, like it's all well talking about doing big lead funnels and ebooks and stuff, but if you don't have a regular presence who's going to read and, yeah. and select those things, that's, it's kind of a waste of time. I'd say just the basics for most businesses. Yeah. Just focus on the basics, the basic message, repeat, 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 repeat. Yeah. And if people want to engage and talk about it, like you mentioned funnels, like I, I reckon that funnels are going to cark it this year. I think that people are very aware now that there is no free ebook because you're going to get smashed with emails for the next, you know, forever. And just focus on the basics and build authenticity and relationships. And if people want to. So we disagree on this, Corey. I'm going to do a yeah. case study next week about yeah. an e-tailer that I worked with last year. Last mm -hmm. year, we got 866 people to her ebook funnel and most wow. of them bought. Okay. So, but I do agree with you that we get stuck on it when the basics aren't there. So she's already yeah. got a following. She's already yeah. got a big, good, successful business. Yeah. We use eBooks ourselves. I do love them, but I don't call them funnels because I yeah. talk about how you need to be like a spider and build a web. Because yeah. a funnel, you slide down and you get straight down to the bottom and make a purchase. Yeah. And, and people think, oh, if I just chuck enough people at the top, they're all going to slide down and some of them yeah. are going to buy. Yeah. And when I if you think about it as touch points of a sticky web, Yep. It makes it more sense. So I, but I, I think where you're at with your people that you talk to, because you work with trades, mm. I agree with you. They don't need funnels. They don't need an ebook to tell them uh, what to do. They just need to be showing up on a regular basis and having trustworthy reviews, telling people yep. that they're trusted. It's enough. And produce and produce produce content that just teaches people stuff without selling. Yeah. You know, we we struggle with clients who can't produce content, so we've got a thing in our group where they can just put their hand up and say, hey, I need some content ideas. And myself or the team will say, hey, just do this, just do this, just do this. Um, just produce good content. Don't sell. Just build that relationship yeah. and make it. That's the hardest terrible. thing, I reckon. Yeah. Is the not selling, turning it off and realising you're there to serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are so yeah. used to um, advertising. So they, they see uh, Facebook as an uh, advertising wall at the local cafe. Mm. or um, the yellow pages or something. And it's not that at all. Like we no. didn't, People don't go to Facebook to buy something. They go there to, they're bored with their morning or whatever. So you've got to stand out and, and add some value, build a relationship, mm. the end. You know, that, yeah. That's, that's it. You know, I think Gary Vee's book was Jab, 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 Right Hook or whatever. I think, I think it's just jab, 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 keep jabbing, keep giving, yeah. keep giving, keep giving. Yeah, um, I used to go give, on. give, get, but I think it's give, yeah. give, 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 yeah, give, just oh, and get. Keep giving. <laughs> yeah, keep giving. Yeah. And then when people need you, they'll, because people on Facebook, but what I find is it's not the person who sees the post. They might remember it and then tell a friend, oh, there's this, you mentioned you need that business. I saw a post about that. That's that's the game. There's an extra step there that yeah. people miss. It's the so. trust building, right? When someone trusts yeah. you, They'll choose yeah. you or refer you. Totally. Yeah. So. My first ever client, we had all these ideas and all these things. And we just started on the live video for him. And that's all we've ever done because it works. He's built so much trust in that's his amazing. area that it's just gone crazy. Mm. No like and trust. The end. So it, it works. I like no like and trust. It's awesome. Now, we did say that we shouldn't promo things, but mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is my podcast, so I get to let you do it. So do you want to give everyone like a little sum up about just where you are and, and, and yeah. who you're, because I mean, obviously, um, you have a, have a focus, even though you talk to all sorts of people, you have a particular yep. focus of people you love working with yeah. and how people find you. Yeah, so um, our best place to find us is our, our Facebook group. So Digital Marketing for Rookies is our biggest place. Um, our website is goodoil.marketing. We've, we've got some blog posts, which are very useful. Um, we specialise in Kiwi small businesses. So small businesses in New Zealand, that's our wheelhouse. Um, so our job is to get their phone ringing. Um, often that'll be with a combination of things. Uh, Google My Business, bit of SEO, help with their content. I also do coaching, so I coach people one-on-one, -on -one, which I really enjoy doing. Um, and we've got a course which is coming out real soon, which we talked about before, um, which isn't super expensive, but I've developed it because as our group grows, uh, we still get so many small businesses who come in who have a very limited budget, but they are passionate about their thing um, and they're driven. And I still really want to help them because I've always been a small business myself. I've run about five small businesses um, and I love these people. They're the heart and soul of the country. Um, so the course is about helping them. And then I've got the coaching, which is a bit further up the food chain in terms of um, spend um, and the client packages. But if people go to Digital Marketing for Rookies, that's our, our Facebook group, which is 
99.9% give, 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 give. Awesome. It's really useful and there's some really cool people in there. Um, and they're mostly Kiwis. So that's where we are. That's perfect. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for being part of my podcast. Oh, thank you. Yeah, as you know, it's the school holidays. It's good to do some professional stuff and it's really cool to talk to you after kind of messaging on LinkedIn for a year or so. Awesome. So, yeah, thanks, Rach. I appreciate thanks. it. Cheers.